In a previous video, I showed you how a teacher could create a formative or summative assessment using Microsoft Forms inside Microsoft Teams. Let's take a look at how a student would complete one of these assessments inside of Teams. So here I am in a student view inside a class team in Microsoft Teams on the web. And again, I can view assignments in either the Conversations tab, in the Conversation stream. I can find the assignment and simply click View Assignment to launch it. Or I can click the Assignments tab, again, inside the General Channel, and find that particular quiz or assessment in the list of assigned tasks. So here is the plant reproduction quiz that the teacher created. And again, to launch it, I'll just simply click on it. Again, here I can view inside the details, the due date and any instructions that have been provided, as well as how many points this particular assessment will be marked out of. The student can receive support with reading these details by clicking on Immersive Reader to then open those instructions inside of Immersive Reader. Let's go back. To launch this particular quiz that was created using Microsoft Forms, I can simply just, as a student, click on my work, the copy of the quiz. Notice that that quiz loads inside Microsoft Forms inside of Microsoft Teams. And again, I can go ahead and complete my work. And once I've finished, I just simply click Submit. I can click View Results to view my results for multiple choice questions and any questions that can be auto-graded by Microsoft Forms. Keep in mind that this written response question cannot be auto-graded by Microsoft Forms. Therefore, I will have to wait for the teacher to finish grading this test to update my mark. Once I'm finished taking the test, I simply come up here to the top and click close. And I'm taken back to Microsoft Teams. Notice that that assignment now moves under completed. And if I click on it, and I click on that test again, notice that my response has already been submitted. And because the way the teacher set up this form, it only allows one response per person. So I cannot try to take the form or quiz again.